Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way we approach various industries and sports betting is no exception. From predictive analysis to automated betting systems, it's drawing out data that could help predict which of your favorite teams will win. Kirsten Lindquist has more on how much of a game changer this could be to avid sports fans. AI has the unparalleled ability to analyze vast data sets beyond human capability. But how reliable is it if you're looking to better your fantasy team this fall? Well, I spoke to local experts to find out. Peyton Merritt has been using fantasy sports apps and online sports books since he reached the legal age to gamble. Got my first one whenever I was 18, I, the day I turned 18 years old. And I placed my first bet on that day, actually. I've placed probably three or four this week uh, on MLB alone. Using what he considers advanced analytics to make his picks. What's the record at home or what's the record away? How do they play against teams that play this way or this style? So I'd say I'd probably have probably a 50, 60 percent like success rate. That success rate has driven some to turn to AI to increase their odds. Dr. Ashley Dawkins studies generative AI at Lamar University and says the market is saturated with apps tailored specifically for sports betting. If that information could be put in, AI could absolutely identify patterns. Peyton says it could help some make smarter bets. I think uh, that it would help people who aren't very knowledge in it or don't have the time to look in it like I do. Um, definitely help them out on some things. But Ashley has other concerns. AI, one, is just not meant to be necessarily truthful. It's just basing its responses based on the large amount of information that exists out there in the world. And we know sometimes the large amount of information that's out there in the world isn't always right. You also run the risk of AI generating opinions based on misinformation and super fans online. And you know how people are with sports, right? Like nobody's better than the Packers if you love the Packers. These programs only give a prediction based on the information you give it. Whatever you put in is going to get you whatever you put out. So if you don't write good prompts, if you're doing it on, on your own, and if you don't know how to write those prompts, you're probably not going to get what you want out of it. So for folks like Peyton. But people who maybe already get, have a good handle on it probably need to stick with what they know best. Reporting in Beaumont, I'm Kirsten Lindquist.